Hello and welcome to Awake Ones. I'm Alexandra Wenman. I'm Lorraine Flaherty. And we are delighted to introduce you to our lovely friend Belinda Wannis. And Belinda has just, well, she's done many, 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 many things yes. in her time. We actually met through the magazine industry back in the mm -hmm. day. But now you're launching your Atelier Belle jewellery line. Yes. yes, a jewellery line that kind of represents something a little bit different and some character of you know individuals personalities and things oh yeah gorgeous girl yeah. but tell us like how you got to this point of designing your own jewelry because you've done a, a, a lot of I things have. i don't have a career ladder i have a career <laughs> lattice um, so i actually studied psychology and what then became um, a forensic psychologist working with the police for the Bureau of Criminal Intelligence. I did not know yeah. this. Yeah. God, you're even more so, like, multi-gifted um, than so, I knew. <laughs> doing the intelligence work, which I loved, mm. it was really interesting, um, the information. However, you were always seeing the bad side of life. Right? Yeah. And that got to me. So that was, that was why I decided to make the change and go into media. And that's when I obviously became a journalist. And, and then we know that lots of things are changing in journalism these days. Um, you know, it's going online, more magazines are, are closing down, unfortunately. So I kind of had to rethink things again. So I've decided to have a portfolio career now, rather than just one career. So, and one of those was I thought, well, I work in services, I'll get a product. So that hence the jewellery. And then I also have decided I want to return a little bit more to the um, psychology roots. And I want to um, perhaps do a course in counselling and work with people. So many people are anxious and depressed. And I'm not talking about clinical depression. I'm talking mm -hmm. about everyday people that think everyone else's lives are wonderful. And we're all going through our own internal struggles. So it's working with people. I want to start working with people on their internal struggles. Amazing. Yeah. No coincidences here. No. No. <laughs> and so how did the jewellery come about? Because obviously that's quite a big segment. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, yeah, yeah, this random product. So I knew somebody who, um, who knew somebody who worked in government grants. And they're, they're, you know, they're not really financial grants. They were grants for business courses and to have a mentor. And they were like, you know, you really should put in for one of these. And they were, I hadn't worked out what I wanted to do yet. And they were kind of bugging me and bugging me and going, come on, put it in, put it in. So I just came up with something and I thought, jewellery, you don't have to worry about sizes like clothing or anything like that. I'll put that in while I think about what I really want to do. You know, while I find that purpose thing. <laughs> universe didn't uh, intervene. No, the universe decided I was doing jewellery <laughs> because I got the grant and, you know, um, kind of... A year down the track, I've done a small business course and got a mentor, and, and obviously developing the range of jewellery. So, and they're so yeah. beautiful. So, just want to yeah. hold these up. We'll flash up some images as well. Mm. Oh, darling, <laughs> I, know. I just want to like talk cocktail about, rings let's talk like about the cocktail ring yeah. first because this is so beautiful. And you were talking about it being um, how is the how is it made because it's sustainable, right? Yes. Yeah, so um, we've decided we the Royal We as in the company. <laughs> me I've decided to go with man-made um, gems because they are sustainable they're often more um, uh, environmentally sound but also um, the techniques to make them are, are less um, invasive on people and, and that kind of thing as well and you're not digging up the no you're not going to go underneath the ground and mm -hmm. conditions for workers tend to be better yeah so mm -hmm. that was the decision and it also keeps the cost down if we're yeah. honest as well yeah, yeah. we want to make it accessible so these are you know, it is fine jewellery in terms of its sterling silver coated in 18 karat matte gold. But I wanted to find something that wasn't your um, lower level trend stuff that you obviously buy mm. and love and, you know, doesn't necessarily last that long. Mm. And are made of alloys and, and corrosive metals. So these are non-corrosive metals. But also not all of us can afford 9 or 18 karat solid gold mm. or white gold. So it was about finding a middle ground. It's so pretty. I love it. It's got like the brushed effect, like the matte yes. effect. is really, 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 really nice. Yeah. And, yeah. Where, and where are the gems made because that's, so, that's fascinating yes. to me that people are actually so creating it, it depends things. what what the metals are and stuff so this one being sterling silver and and gold is um india okay go to india for that um but i looked in india mexico and thailand because they're oh. all quite well known for their sterling silver and then there's only three base metals i work in which is sterling silver brass and stainless steel yeah because they're all non-corrosive and they can all be recoated if the um, coating comes off over time. Whereas other metals like alloys and coppers, yeah. they're not, um, 
uh, strong enough to, to have that. So yeah. um, the stainless steel comes from China, and yeah, the sterling silver from at the moment from. India. Yeah. Have you been on some business trips or are you going yeah, on some not, business yeah, I was, trips? I was thinking about doing that when I came to the UK this time because I'm living out in Australia now. Um, but it didn't quite come together, but it'll have to at some point. Yeah. yeah. I have to go out to Jaipur and uh, well, meet. We, we might join you. Yeah, <laughs> meet the people making it. And, it's so yeah. funny because I was like, Laurie and I have talked about making jewellery as mm. well. We do a lot of symbolism stuff like yeah. separately. Um, but I was saying to the universe, right, I really need to find someone that can kind of help have some tips about this jewelry thing and I keep we keep being called to Jaipur and then you pop up in my office like Belinda just <laughs> turns up in my office yep. and we happen to have a really close friend in common hi Jazz um <laughs> so it's amazing like there's a lot I yeah. love this whole um women as well like men as well but a yeah. lot of women are becoming very self-starting yes. stepping out on their own in business i think we're breaking the mold yeah bit when it comes to business and creativity and yes. and kind of expressing ourselves and i yeah. love it the b obviously so it's obviously <laughs> yeah. about the uniqueness of the person as well yes. right yeah absolutely and it's look there's a lot of really fine jewelry around at the moment which is beautiful i love it but to come into that flooded market there's just no point. There's so many people doing it really well. So it was about looking for something that was a little bit different. So safety pins as earrings and nails as rings and, mm -hmm. you know, chunky instead of fine. Yeah. So it was about finding a point of difference as well. But coming back to your point about kind of, you know, women kind of doing it for themselves as well, is I come from a kind of a philosophy of helping other people out. So when you are starting business, you often find there are those people that are more than happy to share their contacts, their knowledge, all of that. But there's also a lot of people that are very protective. Mm -hmm. yeah. And look, I understand where they're coming from, but I believe that if you're open and put things out, things come back to you. Of course. Um, so, you know, that's my philosophy of doing things. And yes, somebody may end up doing exactly the same as you, and that's disappointing, but you move on and you always move forward. But only you can do you, right? Yeah, That's exactly. what we talk about on here. Like, yeah. I love, I'm loving all the collaborations at the moment. This is what Awake Ones is about, is like community. I mean, we, we, we did rebrand, we used to call ourselves Awake Women, but mm -hmm. we didn't, we wanted to be inclusive of men yeah. and a lot of, it was only because the panel were women, Yeah. but we rebranded and, but I love it, we're meeting so many amazing people, we've had some yeah. amazing um, men and women on here mm -hmm. and uh, it's real, I think it's, it's really lovely, like there's a new paradigm emerging on this planet which is like everybody celebrate their uniqueness but support mm. each other in their uniqueness yes. as well and help yeah. people to to lift and as you said building a community is so important i mean that is the linchpin to all of our happiness it really is it's about community feeling like you've got a group of people to listen to and you're part of something whether that be you know a mother's group whether it be a business group whatever that community yeah. is it's so important for just for general happiness. And yeah. how do you feel like the magazine industry had an impact <laughs> on oh. you on you as a woman and wanting to kind of yeah, launch out into your own thing? <laughs> <laughs> the magazine industry is a, it, it's an interesting industry. It's you know it's it's extremes. Mm -hmm. You know you've got the whole thing of airbrushing and this what in the magazine industry we call an aspirational mm. kind of image, but it is an unrealistic image. And yeah. even working in it. You know, I'll look at a magazine once it's printed and go, oh my God, she looks amazing. I know all the airbrushing that's been done. I'm Lorraine still used to be a makeup artist as well. So yeah. all of us have had this kind of mm. experience behind the scenes mm, yeah. of what makes that, yeah. what puts that glossy image out. Yeah. There. So there's that kind of, there's the negative side of that, mm. but also there's a lot of very intelligent, inspirational um, and supportive women within us mm. that also are trying to put a cross good messages yeah. um, and and elevate that whole conversation as well. And I think it's it's that toing and froing that's really happening at the moment to mm. find where it'll end up. Mm. You know, it's in a very changing place at the moment. It is a lot more of them are bringing in holistic stuff as well. Yes. I know I read in, I think it was in Tatla, um, about six months ago, they had a whole big article on crystals and cri energy healing. Yeah. And I was like, in Tatla, I didn't yeah. expect that. Yeah. And I know that um, when I was back freelancing at Now, they had a mm -hmm. whole um, You and Improved yeah. section, which had holistic stuff in yeah. it. As Mindfulness well. is Mindfulness, being, yeah. the, um, all the different kind of ways of moving your body, whether it be yoga, Pilates, or yeah. just getting out in nature. Yeah. I think we're all just searching for the things that make us happy and whole yeah. yeah and i think we're getting closer and closer to working out what they are and that they're not a big salary a big house the perfect life on the outside it's actually a lot more 
it's a lot easier in yeah. some ways. It's Absolutely. a lot more simple. It's about outdoors, exercise, connecting, mm -hmm. you know, all that kind of thing. And also knowing that when you're down or when you're going through a bad time, that's not um, a wrong thing. Mm -hmm. It's um, like it's part of being human. And one thing that actually really struck me about Scandinavian countries, which always voted like the happiest in the world. So my mum my lived in Denmark for years. And one of the things with the Danes is that they don't mind being sad because it's part of the same up and down process. Yeah. If you don't feel sad, happy becomes very boring mm. because it's just on one level. So you need the sadness to feel the happiness. Mm. And I think by accepting that, accepting that it's okay to be sad, mm. I think that that helps us to, to be more accepting of ourselves and be happier. Mm. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, we do. I mean, it's mm. such a wide range of experiences that we've been sent down you know, to earth, I believe, yeah. to experience. Yeah. You have to tick all the boxes. Yeah. yeah. Life would be very yeah. dull if it was the same all the time. If it was yeah. just level. Yeah. But Western world is quite um, focused on mm. this being happy all the time, aren't they? You know, like yeah. everyone's always like, could be, you know, if you have going through something bad, it's like it could be worse. Mm. Nobody, if you're having a great time, goes, well, it could be better. <laughs> like, you wouldn't, yeah, you wouldn't dare say that to somebody. So it's kind of like, why do it on the other end? Yeah, yeah, yeah just absolutely. feel it and go with it. Yeah, and I think, as especially, we are moving into a time where it is more acceptable for people to have emotions and to talk about their emotions mm -hmm. and how they're feeling. And for you know, a panel of women, but for men as well. Yeah, I mean, I've been doing a lot of work recently where the because I work with past lives. Yeah, a lot of the time, and uh, and a lot of inner child ancestral healing, mm -hmm. and what is coming up time and time again is the theme that is ongoing. It seems to not even matter what the culture is or mm -hmm. the, the country of origin is, but this idea that's still kind of embedded that men are superior to yeah. women, and that as a result of that they are kind of worth more, and mm -hmm. uh, that, that women are. Uh, meant to still, in some way, play that subservient role, to mm. play the, the, the role of the server, the, the, mm. the caretaker. And I take great pleasure when we're taking clients back to those, you know, the origins of all of these beliefs that have been entrenched, mm. and reminding these men that they wouldn't actually exist. Yes. It hadn't been for the fact that it was a woman that gave birth to them yes. and onto the planet. And so it's like, wake up. Mm. People, it, yeah. It's about finding that balance, yeah. I think, and the equality yeah. that everybody, no matter who or what or where they're from, that everybody is valuable and that yes. everybody is equal. I think yeah. it's so mm. important. And I think it's because of the differences in that, um, you know, men may be more um, affiliated with, with some yeah, skills absolutely. and women with others but the problem is the male skills are valued higher at this yeah. moment in time yeah. and yes we might not be equal in exactly the like for example lifting weights yeah. mm -hmm. they, are, they are physically stronger naturally but who's to say that is the important value yes. mm -hmm. you know, I'd like we to can, we can have well. humans yeah. <laughs> that's a pretty big thing we've <laughs> got a higher pain <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Exactly. and we can cope with a cold we don't call it blue uh, exactly. <laughs> sorry bless you men with love my husband gets men through the door <laughs> but again but even yeah. that in that being superior I think a lot of the time men were not allowed to express their emotions yeah. they, they were meant to be strong mm -hmm. and hold it all in yeah. and as we're starting to get this balance it's becoming acceptable for women to be feminine yeah. and to be open and it's acceptable for men to be strong but also to express their emotions yeah. Yeah. and I think that's where we're starting to find that balance now where it's mm -hmm. okay to share and it's okay for people to be who they are and as you said experience all of the emotions you yeah. don't have to be yeah. either strong or the, the, the sort of soft vulnerable one all of the time yes and you can change. yeah and so, I think it's really important for men as well you know male suicide is, oh is a big issue yeah. because you know, we as women, we're lucky in that way that we are better communicators. We yeah. communicate with each other, and it gives us a better sense of well-being because of that. Yeah. And they don't have that, and that's sad for them yeah. as well. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 It's about that's honouring them because the feminine. Yeah. We we all have a masculine and feminine side, and it's honouring that that rising feminine in all of us mm, needs yeah. care and nurturance yeah. and honouring. I want to talk to you about business though yeah. as well. So as a woman yeah. embarking on your own business, mm -hmm. uh, what are sort of some of the blessings and the challenges that you've come up against as you've been sort of embarking on this project? Um, I think almost 
the blessings and the troubles of being the same in that <laughs> um, being a woman you're kind of not taken seriously mm -hmm. um, you're not given the same respect in kind of the research you've done and the 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 background you've put into it and the seriousness with which you're saying I'm going to do this right. you know whether that be with investors whether it be with potential clients whether it be with you know people that you might be collaborating with or even family mm -hmm. you know um, but equally because people don't do that it has allowed me to be more creative and go well you know if you if you don't think I'm serious anyway I can just experiment a little bit and go mm -hmm. well I'm going to try that I'm going to try that yeah. yeah. So I think it's kind of been that double-edged sword, really. Of mm. And you can say that you've done it yourself as well, too. Yes. What, a, what an amazing um, triumph yeah. to, to, see, to go through all the little bits. Yeah. And also, I don't see, um, like, I don't know whether this is going to be a success. You know, I've it got looks like it will be. That's so beautiful. We're like likewise. I'm, I'm shaming I'm like, you. Oh, oh. <laughs> As you know, I've got another business that has been going for eight years now, which is um, an online women's lifestyle yes. kind of magazine, which called, is how we originally connected, yes, wasn't called it? Called Bell About Town, and that that's changed over time as well, from right. being a lot more kind of superficial and and um, consumery to having a lot more depth now about conversations and that kind of thing. Um, but the thing along the way is that you don't know whether they're going to be a success. Mm -hmm. But to me, there's no failure because I'm learning. Mm -hmm. Like, so if Bell About Town fails tomorrow, I've got an online CV of what I can do, what mm -hmm. I can achieve. Yeah. Um, if this fails, you know, um, I could still sell the products at market, get the money back. And I will have learned, you know, I've done a certificate mm -hmm. in um, small business management. And you're learning along the way. So I think it's really important that attitude you go in with us. And well. you've got beautiful jewellery to and show for jewelry. it. Personalised, gorgeous. Yes. This is your gold like. medal. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so I've got yeah, unique stuff I like. So that I think that's the whole point yeah. of it. I, think, I find that a lot of what we're doing as well for us, for ourselves is for, it is for ourselves. Yes. And yes. that's when you're putting your own needs first. Yeah. And like your own, like what you love to do first, isn't it? Yeah. Like following your heart. Yeah, and then you end up, like Laurie does these beautiful mandalas. Like oh, that's one of hers over there. We can oh, look, I was can show you. admiring that, yeah. So, and yeah. it just came about by what you did ayahuasca, right? And then this something unlocked, mm. but it's, it's like her own form of therapy, her own form of meditation. And the detail in these things, yeah. I'll, I'll put some pictures up. Yeah. Because the detail in these things is incredible and mm. it takes hours and it's meticulous and it's done mm. with love. Now she's got a whole collection. Mm. I keep saying, you've got to put them on dresses and put them on yes. t-shirts. So yeah. it's about suddenly in doing what she loves, yeah. she has Stuff an entire like, like um, you know, mm. anyone with a gallery want to exhibit. <laughs> I mean, she's <laughs> awesome. Yeah. And the same thing happened with me with poetry. Like I was just writing yeah, it for me beautiful. and yes. suddenly there's this book has materialized yeah. which I wouldn't have done a book if she hadn't have said you need to do a book yeah um, <laughs> and I did it myself as well mm. and this is and the that's thing, a lovely thing. thing women lifting up women because yeah. right? yeah. sometimes we can't see it for ourselves of what you know how we need to push ourselves forward or you know we, we can be quite timid with our own you know we pick yeah. up everyone else but not ourselves so yeah. having other girlfriends to be your cheerleader is yeah. quite yeah. good it's amazing well. and knowing that you know you can have you can have your own things your own way of expression and then support each other and sometimes it fits mm. together really beautifully like we mm. teach together a lot yeah and we look at each other we're like bookends we're sometimes like <laughs> she's like so i should be in the middle then yeah maybe <laughs> like <laughs> like we need the pink to break up the red it's too kind of matching but it is it's like you know we cover all bases because yeah. you've got the grounded practical side and she delves mm. right into the subconscious and then i sometimes bring in all the angelly stuff and go really mm. like up there spiritual and then sometimes we swap yeah so it's like and then as well with like projects you know we've both kind of had separate guidance about similar things and then yeah. it's like oh cool well there you go yeah trip to india sorted to go <laughs> to yeah. go and yeah. like yeah. sort it out and yeah. and it's amazing because it does feel like more and more women i think historically women have been pitted against each other a little bit yes um, and then you kind of you, we've been like looking at this energy of this divide and conquer or women pitted against each other as men rise and rise in business or you know and the, and it's like well fight amongst yourselves girls and yeah, it's for that one paradigm yeah. Yeah. yeah and we're and it's like we are we're standing against that now we're yes. kind of not going into that and it's, you still get bits of it rising here and there but as long as you're aware of it and you yeah. know that it's not 
or you. There's a bigger paradigm at work here, yeah. and it's really observing it and kind of going, oh, we're not going to get sucked into that. We're going to yeah. we're going to see through that. Yeah, because we still get caught up in it from time to yeah, time. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's an old need happening. to consciously kind of stand back and go, yeah. oh, hang on a second. Yeah, yeah. absolutely. So, and come back into support and come back into unconditional love. Yeah. yeah. And saying, okay, we're all human. Yeah. yeah. And there are times when we're not going to get things right. Yeah. And there are times when we are. You know, going to be challenged by things, but recognizing that if we just take care of each other, yeah, and we do it together instead of in competition, we're so much stronger. Yeah, by doing we that. are invincible. Yeah, pretty much. Yeah, and we set our minds to doing things. Yeah. yeah, yeah, and forgiveness goes a long way. We all know, especially as women, because women we have such a huge. I love where these conversations go. We start talking <laughs> about jewelry, and then we go. I just always yeah. think like. Women especially, because we have such a depth of emotion, yeah. um, we can go into these places where our emotions can almost overwhelm us or take over mm. and sometimes we behave badly and sometimes we yeah. behave well and you know, like this being the good girl paradigm is being blasted apart. So if we're... Also being perfect. Yeah. None of us can be perfect. Exactly. Yet. We still seem to strive for that. Yeah. We beat ourselves up when we're not. When we're not. So it's about self-forgiveness mm. and, and then forgiving each other. You know, yeah. if, if, you, if you've got a mate who's been a raucous bitch, it's like, okay, but I love you. It's okay. I forgive you. It's about yeah. letting that, that compassion come mm. to the fore because I think that's, mm. the, that's the balance, isn't mm. it? That, you know. But do you think there's room for or it's important to put down boundaries with some people that maybe aren't so self-aware. Yeah. Oh, definitely. Definitely. Yeah. You have to have the healthy boundaries. Yeah. yeah absolutely. Yeah. Absolutely. Because yeah. there are those people out there. I think we've probably all come across them where we've tried to be generous. We've tried yeah. to be forgiving, and it just allows them to keep attacking. Yes. Yeah. I think or taking. Times, yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. For sure. Yeah. Absolutely. Yeah. Clear boundaries. And that's hard that. to make that balance to work out whether. Yeah. You know, which which side it is. Oh my god, it's a minefield. We were having a conversation about this this morning. I'm a Libran, yeah. so I'm always trying to keep everyone happy. I'm always trying to see all sides of all spectrums, mm -hmm. and I end up tying myself in knots, and then I go into guilt about it, because I feel like, oh my god, I don't, I might have said the wrong thing. I turn myself yeah. in. I should have done it differently. Yeah. I should have, yeah. Oh my yeah. god, I haven't done enough of yeah. that, and I've done too much of that, and I da -da 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 -da, and I need to just step, but then that step out and the... stop trying to yeah. be the mediator. Yeah. And it also goes back to trying to be perfect. Yeah, we 100%. can't. We're just, we're all just doing our best. What can we do about <laughs> it? Absolutely. Yeah. Catholic school. Oh, we're all three yeah. Catholic school. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, Catholic girls are the worst. <laughs> but I think when you're on a, a path of being awakened, then you know, in time you start to recognise the people that are mm. doing the work, that are yeah. you know mm. on the path, and that's where yes. you can forgive because things will always rise up, things are always going to yes. come up as we go through the healing journey, mm. and so to have that support, yeah, it's only when people are blind to it and yeah. ignoring it, and just keep making the same mistakes over and over yeah. again without addressing it, I think at, at that point then, you know, it becomes yeah. a little harder, and we have a choice, you know, we don't have to stay in environments with yes. people that are, you mm -hmm. know, causing harm or yeah. causing hurt, you know, we've yeah. talked earlier, we all know people that have you know, found themselves in situations, whether it's in a relationship or, you know, in a job mm. or mm. some space where they are consistently being hurt, mm. they are being, mm. whether it's physical, emotional, or psychological yeah. mm. damage yeah. that's happening. And when you're in it, it's so hard because you don't, it, it, it creeps up, is that that yeah, yeah, syndrome, isn't it? Happen. Sometimes it, it creeps up on you, mm. you don't realise. And then it can sometimes take something really huge mm. to actually get people to, to, mm. to wake up. Mm. And I think even in that, you just have to honour love unconditionally and just mm. be there, hold that space to support, but we can't do it for people. Yeah. Yeah. We can't yeah. do it for them, we love them and hope that they will come to that point where they will recognise and realise. Mm. The other good thing about the kind of community of women on that journey is I found it really helpful. There's been other friends of mine that I can think of that are better at some of these things than me, and I think, yeah. how would they do it? You know, what would they um, do? You know, and that's been helpful for me. It's been learning for me. So they haven't specifically. I haven't gone to them and said, how do you do it? Yeah. But by knowing them and by being in their lives and watching them, yes. you know, I've learned some techniques as well to kind of learn how to hopefully do it better each time. Yeah, 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 absolutely. I think the most important thing in this journey is that we take responsibility yeah. for ourselves mm -hmm. and for what's going on with mm -hmm. us, knowing that the outside world is always on some level going to be a mirror. We have mm -hmm. talked about this. Yeah. Yeah. So we, we have to accept mm -hmm. that uh, you know, we're all works in progress absolutely. and that we all have to do our work. And as long as we're mm -hmm. doing the work on us, 
when things come up, then you can pretty much trust that the world around you is, is mm. going to change in the right way. Mm. Love, forgiveness, yeah. mm. acceptance, compassion, but yeah. stepping yeah. back when you need to, I guess. Yes. And valuing self enough to say no to yes. those things that yeah. aren't going to be yeah. right for you. Discernment's yeah. a big thing. Yeah. It's a big thing on this journey of life, isn't mm. it? Discerning what's right for you and what isn't. Yeah. I, and I, I just wanted to... The, the word consciously uncoupling, I'm just thinking about Gwyneth yeah, and well. um, thing oh, it's like now, like I think old paradigm as well as you know, having a big bust up and running away, yeah. but you can actually you move out of somebody's life with love. Like, as mm -hmm. the more I've gone on the inner path, the mm -hmm. more I've kind of had to say goodbye to friendships or relationships or situations, jobs, yeah, companies, and sometimes it's just like, naturally, like, just you know, like, let it's it go. Okay. We don't like change as humans, reason, season. Lifetime. Yeah, Lifetime, yeah. 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 And I think sometimes we need to remind ourselves of that, that sometimes people are just in our lives for a reason or a season, so it doesn't mean that something's mm. gone wrong. It doesn't mean yeah. that, you know, it, that you you can still grieve for it, but, mm. but sometimes it's just how it's meant to be. It's not, yeah. you know, by trying to keep it how it was, mm. it's not right either. The universe doesn't want that. It's, yeah. you know... Yeah. You're and you're walking, place. talking evidence of like when a when a door closes, <laughs> another one opens. Went Maria from the Sound of Music says. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but I've always had to wait for the door to close first, which is scary. Yeah, because okay. then you're so, a cliff edge. Yeah, right? So many people are like the the door's still kind of a bit ajar, and they're looking for that window or that other door. Well, I've always found that I need to close that completely and blindly with faith go. Right. Just kind of take that step forward, yeah. and mm -hmm. something happens. And it's not always the perfect thing, mm -hmm. but it's always something that is a step forward. Mm -hmm. So, it, yeah, that can be scary. <laughs> yeah, and requires courage, which I think yeah. is something that we're all being called upon yeah. to to demonstrate and to yeah. uh, step into. And as you say, change is hard. As human beings, we don't want to change. It's, mm -hmm. it, it's hard for us, it hurts us, <laughs> but actually it's really good for us. Yeah, yeah. So. transformation, mm. it, it can be painful, can't it? And mm. you're going from the caterpillar and into the butterfly, you've got to be yeah. in the glue before you get there. <laughs> yeah. It's not fun. And in the dark, and and yeah, <laughs> yeah, absolutely. Yeah, yeah. So what else have you got up your sleeve, my darling? Where, what, what, what would you like to do? Where would you like to see the jewelry business going, obviously, because this well, is the newest thing. The jewelry, I've got a really kind of, um, conservative idea of what I wanted to do. I just wanted to make some money so that it pays my bills. <laughs> like, I'm not looking to become the next whatever big jewellery, Alex Munro, or no, he's fine jewellery, even finer, but whatever. I'm not, I'm not looking to become this world brand and, and I sometimes think that although, you, although be open to it, well, yeah, I, yeah, know, I'm not close. I can see. I'm not close to it. I can see, um, it, I can see <laughs> like rock stars and rappers and people wearing this. Stuff. So it's it's like it's such a lovely balance between feminine and delicate yeah. and really rock star. Like it's, yeah, it's, it's very it's, it's quite edgy. edgy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So yeah, I'm not going on it to to. I guess I'm not going in. It's it's like when people go into say acting or something to become famous or because they love acting, and. I won't lie, I didn't go into jewellery going, I love jewellery, I've always loved it my whole life and that's why I did it, it was kind of by accident. Um, but I also, like, if it, if it helps me to make ends meet and have a lovely life, yes. mm -hmm. to enjoy life, mm -hmm. to, I, you know, where I live at the moment, it's in the northern beaches of Sydney, it's, there's water. You're near my sister. Am I? Sister. I? Yes. <laughs> I've got, I've discovered I'm a water person after, right. you know, 17 years of living in London, I forgot. Mm. Um, even though I was always drawn to the Thames, but, you know, you forget. And it's I'm, not quite the same. No. <laughs> so I'm overlooking the pit water, which is a, a, an Beautiful. inlet. I'm 10 minutes from the beach, I'm 15 minutes from lakes, and 10 minutes from a national park. Lovely. So if this jewellery can give me the opportunity yeah. to work from home and continue to be in that environment that makes me so happy, mm. then... It's done everything I wanted to do. Amazing. Oh, I love it. So, and, and as I said earlier, I want to add to that with the um, retreats and, and kind of some kind of a happiness community centre. Clearly, I haven't quite got that thought finished yet. But right. hey, yeah. we'll come out and teach yes. at the centre. Yeah, well, I'm hoping <laughs> retreats as well, wow, international yeah. retreats. Amazing. But because yeah, you know how retreats at the moment tend to be a little bit more narrowly focused. There'll be yoga and diet, or boot mm -hmm. camp and um, detox, or and I just want it to be more holistic. Mm -hmm. And that, yeah. look, I'm not going to be the first one to do it. Of mm -hmm. course not. These things are happening. Yeah, but there's a need for it. Yeah, people want it as well. Yeah, people are really searching for yeah. 
a calm, an inner calm. Mm. And, okay. you know, I'd like to help on that path, basically, to inner calm for all of us. Yes. Wow. Yeah, we're, we're up for that Amazing. one. Amazing, I love it. And I, the whole lifestyle thing, I think, is really important. And I, I think it's important for everybody now that, you know, this, uh, this idea of a nine to five rat in a wheel lifestyle yeah. it doesn't suit a lot of people no. anymore and it was like somebody else's idea of how we should be in the yeah. world especially for women because we don't have the testosterone mm -hmm. so when we get stressed we're drawing on cortisol levels and yeah. adrenaline and then we get burnout and it yeah. doesn't suit we're very cyclical yeah. in our nature so yeah I think women are supposed to be having a lovely life. <laughs> I just think we're supposed to have a lovely, yeah. comfortable, happy life. All of us, not just yeah. women, men as well. But I think that... Um, With what works for us, yeah. whether male, female. Yeah, whatever. it's working all the hours, all the time. It's not sustainable. Eventually you get burnout. And you yes. see those young guys that go into banking, thrash it out for a few years, yeah. wake up at four in the morning, work till all the hours, and mm. then they have these, like... And they like keel over. Yeah, well, and they're like they're kind of wondering what their life is. Mm. Yes. Is this what I worked yeah. for? Yeah. And money's not buying me what I want, which yeah. is time and people yeah. to spend that time with. Yeah, yeah. absolutely. Yeah. Keep it simple. Yes. Is yeah, better. Yeah. yeah, definitely. And what what piece of advice would you have for anyone who is embarking on sort of starting their own business mm. or venturing into something creative of their own? I think go with your gut. Mm -hmm. Lots of people will tell you you can't do it. Lots of people will tell you you're doing it wrong. You should do it differently. Go with your gut. Find supportive people. They may not know about the industry you're in, but if they're a bit of a cheerleader behind you, do that. Do listen to other people. You know, people do have good advice, but be aware that that their intention, while it's not to put you down, they, they have a different experience of life and, yeah. and you know, that's not their necessarily their area of interest. So trust in what you're doing. Um, don't get over, don't overextend. Like mm -hmm. I've seen so many people that will take out loans to get offices and to make it look right on the outside. You don't have to do all that. Mm -hmm. Just do it slowly and, and you know, kind of carefully with that. And, yeah, and have fun with it. And nothing is a failure. That's the biggest yeah, one. Nothing is a failure. Cool. If it doesn't work, you've learned so much and you'll know what your next project is and can move onwards and upwards. Mm. I love it. And I, and I feel like there's so many people out there. I don't think we're all meant to be one-hit wonders. I think that yeah. we are meant to try lots of different things on yeah. the size. And How see do you learn it, otherwise? Yeah. Absolutely. You, you know, you learn through experience. So, yeah. yeah. Absolutely. Brilliant. I love it. Mm -hmm. So, Belle, how can people find you online? Have you got a website or...? Um, I will soon have a website. The, the website for Atelier Bell will launch soon. It's, it's a .com.au because we're based in Australia mm -hmm. at the moment. And we're on Instagram and Facebook as Atelier Bell. That's A-T-E-L-I-E-R-B-E-L-L-E. -L -L -E. mm -hmm. um, Atelier Bell Store on both okay. Facebook okay. and Instagram. We'll put that under the in the details. Mm -hmm. the and then Bell About Town is bellabouttown.com. Bell About Town's great. I yeah. wrote for you once. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I know I should yeah. submit some Come stuff. Back. Yeah. yeah. Come love back. To. Once a bell, always a bell. Once a bell, always a bell. <laughs> yeah. Bell about Bell about the world at the moment. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Amazing. So, yeah. Belinda, thank you so, yeah. so much for well, talking to us so today. Thank you for having me. Yeah, yeah. It's been an absolute pleasure. It has. And uh, thank you all so much for watching Awake Ones. If there's any topic that you would like us to cover, please comment below. Or if there's any suggestions of people that you'd like us to interview, also we'd love to hear from you. We are on Instagram, we're on Facebook, we have a community on Facebook. It's all about community, it's all about collaboration, and it's all about supporting and, and spreading the love to each other and the world. So if you're inclined, please subscribe, share the video to spread the love. These are free videos for, for you and for everybody. And any last minute words, anything else you'd like to share for the viewers? Um, just continue that that community and, and lowering cortisol levels yeah. to, to increase happiness. Yeah. yeah. Awesome. Keep it simple, it's about those basic yeah. things. Yeah. Money mm. doesn't really matter. We can get by. But nice jewellery does help. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you for watching, watching. everyone.